it was a sort of a yes or no decision. Yeah. Part, some of my, my oldest daughter didn't want me to do it. My two youngest daughters was like, go on, go on, mm -hmm. in you go, push you in. Yeah. So I went, I went with their decision mm -hmm. and um, it turned out very good. It helped me. It did. Because as I went in, I still wasn't sure. There was still quite a bit of Frank in me and I'd only just sort of a week it had come out in the, in the papers. Yeah. And then I sort of um, went in there and I met some great, nice people in there like Dee White, um, Lauren, Lauren Goodyear, yeah. um, Claire King and... Um, the girl from Bewitching Ireland, mm -hmm. um, and they were really helpful. And Ricky from Georgie Shaw and um, George from Gogglebox, they were fantastic. And yeah. it really helped me, and I came out a very strong person. Can I, I ask you something? It's interesting you're talking about all these new friends that you met in a TV reality show, and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, that's so brave. What about all the friends you had in the boxing world? Have you, are, they, are they still your friends? Because that's a kind of completely different, different kettle world. of fish, isn't I've it? Got, I've, got, I've kept some, but some really keep the distance <clears throat> from me. I was uh, going to There's ask a couple you. that will not speak to me. Um, and were they really good friends of you at the yeah, time? Yeah, they was at the time. I was quite surprised. I mean, one of them, an old friend of mine's come back into my life that I started in boxing years ago. And um, quite surprised because he's a kid from Peckham like me, and I and I thought it'd be hard for him. Yeah. But yeah. he was fantastic, and he said, "Oh, I was talking to so and so the other day." He said, and I, and I mentioned I'm, I'm coming out with Kelly, and he just went, "I can't have none of that nonsense. There's something wrong with 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 Frank. Well, we were to call it, you know." <laughs> and and, I've, and and he said he hasn't spoken to me since. He said, "Has that surprised you about people that people that you think would have been accepting haven't been, and people that you would have thought would find it hard have been more." Uh, just yes a general and no. reaction, yeah, yeah. Yes and no. I mean, some of the guys that have accepted it, I'm surprised they've accepted it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've got a very good friend that also I grew up in Peckham with, it, and we we went, we used to go to Millwall regularly. We do a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. And he, when when he was told, I actually didn't have the courage to tell him. So I sort of picked four friends that I was going to tell, and my daughter picked sort yeah. of five of my friends that I was that I thought it would be hard for me to tell. So she went and told them. Yeah. And. My, my good friend Ray, he won't mind me mentioning his name. He um, he sort of said, um, "Oh, it's very odd because he's, I've done so much with Frank or Kelly. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can handle it." And then he phoned me and went, "Look, I can't really handle this." He said, "But we've been friends for so long. If you've got any problems, please feel free to phone me." Mm. And we kept talking on the phone, and now he's just accepted me. With your transformation, because you've had an amazing transformation. Is your personality a lot different? It's a lot and, softer than, and um, yeah. And do you reckon that's what people find hard because they're like they want to slip back into the, the Frank, but now you're a new person. I mean, how how would you say your personalities are different? What I mean is that how how do you go from one personality to another? Personality? I think I've always had this personality in me, but I was hiding it because yeah. I was because of the world I was in. I was frightened to let this personality come out and be shown, so I overcompensated by making remarks, trying to be. Um, and would you dress up before? Uh, no, not really, because I was always frightened it would come out. Right. But towards the end, I started taking counselling, and my counsellor, when I told her, mm. she said, once you take the lid off the box, at this time she referred to me as Frank, and I, I, she said, you know you'll never be able to put the lid back on the box. Mm. And it must have been a big relief for it you. Was, it was, yeah, it was. You, it's also very interesting. <laughs> And you must be relieved, in a way, that this has happened at this point in our life because people are so much more accepting now. Obviously, we've got Caitlyn Jenner in America who kind of opened that box, if you like, to many people who kind of heard vaguely about people who were, who were transforming, you know, having, having that operation and transforming their lives completely. She also did it so incredibly openly. Yeah. Um, are you relieved that this has happened now compared to maybe in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s? Do mm. you think of how, how our attitudes have changed? Well, I, re I, re I, never, I knew there was something wrong with me. Yeah. And then I read a story in the 60s of April Ashley. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I read how the papers and everyone, uh, the establishment, crucified her and killed. And I read and I thought, this is me, but I'm never going to let the world know because I can't let this happen to me. And that's why I fought it. Yep. And then eventually you can't fight it because at the end of the day, you either... Destroy everyone around you, which I was doing. You destroy yourself, and mm. that real person never comes out. But with the help of counselling and a very good family around me, I was able to develop and, and let it come out. And but, what, but, but, Kelly, what do you think about Caitlyn Jenner? Because you've had the surgery and Caitlyn hasn't. Everyone's journey's different. I mean, um, 
you know, some people that I've met haven't had had the surgery. Um, some have. Some are not going to have the surgery. Mm -hmm. And I, I used to sort of only see the world in black and white, as, as Frank Maloney. Mm -hmm. I now actually see it very diversified, and I see it through sort of multicolours. And I realise that no two people are the same in the world. Mm -hmm. There's it takes everyone to make up the world, and whatever makes that person happy, as long as they're respecting other human beings, mm -hmm. they're entitled to live that way. <laughs> It's quite as I was surprised. It's such a specific image. It's quite old fashioned, and it's you know the whole look that she's got. She was well, she's quite right wing as well in her views. Yes, I was going to say. Say, so, I mean, I was slightly right wing when I was Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not right wing anymore. I'm middle of the road now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and you learn. You 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 meet different people. I mean, mm. I've I've heard some. I've been very lucky with my transition. I've I've had great support. And I've been quite a strong person once I overcame the hurdles and came to terms with myself. Yeah. But I've met other people that unfortunately haven't been able to complete their journey. Mm -hmm. um, there's, some are stuck in limbo and they haven't had that support and help. And, and I just think, I wish, they, I wish people would understand them and let them live their life, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm mentoring a couple of um, um, male to females and a young female to male at the moment and I'm, I'm helping them and, it, and it, it's such a great achievement and such a, a great gift to be able to help people and I, and, I, and I really enjoy doing it. If you've enjoyed that then why not click here for more and don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best loose women moments. Funny thing is I was in a vulnerable place and at the time I thought I had all this confidence and I was taking the world on. Yep. I didn't realise I was a, a shadow of myself. It's taken this show and Jane to, you know, publicly tell me, completely unbiased, she wasn't mean Jane whatsoever.